Hey guys, on this video, I'm going to install Arch Linux Hyperland using the official Arch install script. And with the help of my Hyperland B4 installer, we're going to customize it. So stay tuned. The first thing is, of course, we need to set up a Arch Linux base using the Arch install script. Or you can also install the Hyperland B4 on existing Arch with Hyperland or even with my previous DATS or with a Arch Linux base. I'm not going to go through the whole process of installation. I'm sure that there's a lot of YouTubers out there who have been talking about it and the Arch install with the Hyperland it was released if I remember it correctly August 2023 last month and this is the only time that I'm testing it now the first thing that I would like is to update the Arch Linux keyring and the Arch install who knows there might be an update to it and before I run the Arch install I'm gonna up, I'm gonna edit the etc pacman.com this is because I wanted to have a parallel downloads enabled and also the I love candy And then just type in Arch install. Now, like I said, I'm not going to go through the whole process here. I'll just quickly set up the way I want it. And you will probably notice later on that I have not set up the Pipewire or Audi server. That's because at the time of the recording, there is, I believe, a bug. And I have reported it already to the GitHub and a few hours ago it was closed. So I'm sure after that uh, it will be fixed anytime soon. And in order for me to have a pipe wire installed, I am going to add it in the additional packages. And with the of additional packages, I will be adding the pipe wire, leave 32 uh, pipe wire, wire plumber, pipe wire alsa, pipe wire audio, and where's my ship? Pipe wire pulse, pipe wire alsa, and SOF firmware. And for the network configuration, as usual, I'm gonna add the network manager. That's because it's just a lot easier. And then using the Arch install, gonna take, depending on your system and internet speed, it would take about, say, five to 10 minutes, maybe 30 minutes maximum, if you have a little bit slower internet. And after that, reboot and boot into the Arch Linux uh, Hyperland. And as you can see in here, I'm just customizing the way I want it. So it will be a lot easier for me to install because. And the first thing is to grab my Hyperland P4 script. You can type in git clone https colon double slash github.com capital J A capital K double O capital L I T slash Hyperland B4. Then change directory to 
hyperland v4 then we need to create or make the install dash b4.sh as executable and then run the install script now this install script is being uh, reconstructed and you just need to simply answer some few questions with uh, yes or no apart from paru or yay but this is not a offline installer at some point you will be ask later on for confirmation which one for example you which team that you wanted to install or um, the sddm if you want the to install the sddm team because it needed for you to manually intervene as it cannot do a no confirm command And this is one example that one I, I mentioned earlier, the SDDM. If you want to, to install the SDDM Git, you need to manually intervene it by answering yes or no with the oh my CHS. Later on, you need to carry out some additional commands. And this is the SDDM team. So just setting up the all my CHS, if you go to my hyperland before readme, if you opt for the all my CHS, it's still initially it's still not in as default shell. Now you can just copy it and then type the command and then reboot. It's important. You need to reboot or log out at least. And then I recommend going to the configuration using the super E. You can launch the keybinds, you can change the monitors, you can add in environment variable, and so on and so forth. And if I have to go through all of it on this video, it's gonna be take a longer and it's gonna be boring for you to watch. So that I recommend that you go through the keybinds. There's a lot of hidden um, tips in there like changing the layout or changing the wallpaper using the SWW. You can also, as you have seen earlier, I launched the help file that I've created. That's super H and then changing the layout, super alt W. And there's also the super E, or super alt E for the list of emoticons. As you can see in here, initially I have a small font. I have a 14, 14, 14, 40p uh, display. Now using the NW look as a to customize the way I want, like changing the font size. But for me here, I would prefer the text font scaling rather than changing the monitor scaling. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. If there's anything that I could help you with, leave a comment. If you have any questions or doubts, please leave a comment as well. If you like the video, please like. And also you can join my Discord server. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And thank you much. Thank you for subscribing. All the best. Bye now.